Well, now joining me is Senator Kay Hagan, a Democrat here from the state of North Carolina. And Senator, how about this? You've got a convention in your home state. This is a state uh, that Barack Obama won by a very small margin in uh, the last election. Can he hold this state this year? First of all, welcome to Charlotte. Welcome to North Carolina. All of the delegates, everybody who's in town is saying the Southern hospitality, the friendliness is beyond compare. And yes, Barack Obama can hold North Carolina. It's going to be a tight election. It's going to be very close. But he's got field offices in 40 different counties across the state. And I think after this convention in North Carolina, people are really energized and are really focused on the election now. Well, how many field offices do, does Mitt Romney have, for instance? I mean, I keep hearing from the Republicans that they're doing well in terms of their registration. What do you see on the ground? Well, what do you expect them to say? <laughs> <laughs> um, he has been here. He has not left. The organizing for America has continued to be in the state since 2008. We've got 100 counties in the state, he's in 40, but that covers so much of the state. I couldn't tell you how many uh, counties that, the, uh, that Mitt Romney has. And what is it about North Carolina that's changing in terms of the demographics of this state that make it something that Barack Obama can look at and say, that's a state I could take in 2012? You know, Nora, that's interesting. Before, because before 2008, we were a red state at the federal level. We were a democratic state at the local level. And Barack Obama was the first presidential candidate that really campaigned in North Carolina. And I think really saw the fact that he could take this state if he concentrated time and resources and people in North Carolina. He won by 14,000 votes and he took the state. Senator Kay Hagan, thank you for having us thank and uh, welcoming, welcoming us so warmly here Thanks. in North Carolina. Thanks, nice to see you.